one of the things that is really affecting 99% is offenses. Offenses, how we deal with people, how they are dealt with us. I'm talking about the issue of the heart. Are you hearing that? Amen. How you deal with people, how they deal with you. There's no way that someone must not, cannot offend you. Or maybe you offend someone. Like now I'm talking here, I might be offending some of you. I'm sure you understand what I'm about to say. I might be offending some of you. Maybe I'm holding mic like this. You're offended that I must hold it this way. Or maybe because I came here wearing a shirt like this. And this shirt, maybe you saw it where we are. Okay, offended. Why you have this shirt? We, we, our heart can always direct itself if we don't direct it. Your heart does like this. Where? Where your eyes are looking, that's where your heart directs. So you must, from today, you can help yourself by making sure you don't have any offenses. You will live a better life. You don't have an enemy. And you, you can help yourself. If someone offended you, you forgive you, move forward. If ever insult you, I'm sure you're going to say what I'm going to say. You forgive you, move forward. Because whatever that is happening to you, it was well planned. It's not something like a, a new thing. It's something that was planned. A plan that you made this boyfriend and they will betray you and give you a chance. From there we leave you. Whatever that happened to you, now you are in the Lord now. You can allow the past to be the past. You can become a Christian. You don't allow any offenses so that you have a clean heart. It starts from there. The willing spirit will stay in a clean heart. Don't judge yourself by what has happened to you before, before you know the Lord. Or even maybe when you are still a small child, you are walking, you read this and that. No, no, don't judge yourself. I mean, the Bible says we have First John 2. An advocate who always pray for us. It? So now we, we confess our sins. He's faithful and just to get forgive. First John 1 verse 8 and 9. John 1 verse 8 and 9. We can go to him and tell him, get up from home and trust that he is in control. Let's get out from the past. Get out from the past. What has happened cannot be changed. What happened cannot be changed. The mistake, the bad thing, the whatever, the whatever. Anything is fine as happened. Start from today. Clean your heart. Sometimes I feel like people, they don't, they, they are not learning anything from me. I just want to tell you about my heart. Maybe you can go and learn something. I went through a lot. When, when all the souls of God that God is using, they go through a lot. There's no anointing without a challenge. I went through a lot. Many people hurt my heart. And it's not them. It's not them. Because Satan is searching for what is inside the heart. People can do things that you'll be so much surprised. You'll be betrayed by your friend. I was betrayed. Lied against. There's a lot that has happened. Many people think they know me. And I just watch 
que no le ven la fela. In fact, I've already given up. Y se chiqui te jafir. From looking at any mistake of anyone. Catuela, o le ven la de tu chucha. That one is wrong. That one is good. I have moved forward from there. Long time ago, I decided to make my heart clear. Number two, I don't need fame. I don't want fame. I don't want to be famous. I want Jesus to be famous. You hear what I'm going to say? Amen. I learn a lot that people who react so quick are what? Weak people. When you know that you are trained, someone is trying to say, hey, you're so shy, you're so shy, you're so bad. You just say, hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. You even go away. If truly you are trained in spirit, when the problem comes, you do it. Uh, hey, hey, hey. And that's what I have learned. Let's have this experience. For